on, Bill. What's poppin'? What's up, water babies? What's going on in the life of a Scorpio for January 2019? <laughs> Are you guys reinventing yourselves? <laughs> Are you going over things that just truly just don't fucking fit who you was? I'm sorry, who you're becoming because they were a part of who you were. <laughs> hey, boo, hey, if this is your first time viewing my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time viewing my channel, I cuss. So if cussing does not work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader on YouTube who can better assist you, okay? Who don't cuss, all right? Welcome back to uh, my returning family new subscribers thank you so much for subscribing and welcome to the family all right we're a little dysfunctional over here we don't fight we don't fuss we leave that shit on other people's channel okay but we do cuss all right we love we share we grow we enlighten we evolve we family all right so we don't do all that crazy shit in the comments because it's just me i don't have a lot of, i don't have a whole bunch of people moderating the comments we don't do that all right so if i see it i'm not with it all right y'all so, this will be for my Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus, as well as the cross watches for the sign of Scorpio uh, for the month of January 2019. I'm officially technically on break, but because I love y'all so much, I ain't quite hit the break point yet. So, I <laughs> so with that, I apologize that I'm getting to you guys um, so late in January. With that said, Happy New Year. I know y'all like Mocha, you late. Okay, yeah, I didn't tell your ass Happy New Year. This is your first time you're hearing it from me. So, Happy New Year. May, may spirit really rain blessings, abundance, great wealth, great health, you know, and prosperity onto your life. Y'all receive it, receive it, because it's definitely the year for three, expansion, and it's time to grow, all right? New shit only, new shit popping. Do you understand? All right, so this is just a personal. It's not a general. I mean, it's just a general. It's not a personal. If you need a personal reading, that information can be found in the description. I'm currently... um. I'm having a $15 sale uh, for my 30 to 60 minute sessions, all right, and this will be included for emergency reads as well, and I'm going to totally cut everything off, y'all. Um, I'm trying to be fair and give everybody at least two days, so <clears throat> today is the 15th. I'm cutting it off by the 17th to actually officially take me a break, all right, but I will be back fast and furious with the February generals, all right? So, without further ado, we're going to get it popping. All right, I'm trying to control my genie pen. I promise y'all, y'all won't see no ads, you know, because YouTube don't pay for that part. And I'm just playing, but <laughs> no, but no, my little genie pants. I love my genie pants. They're so damn comfortable. All right, but you know, they be showing all these thighs and stuff, and I'm from Texas, so don't get the wrong idea that like I'm trying to flash this, y'all, because I'm not. All right, but I wanted to come to you guys in comfort, so we gonna rock. All right, so scared. What angel message? I'll start off with an angel message for my sun and rising Venus as well as the cross watching for the sign of Scorpio. What angel message do you have for my Scorpions for the month of January 2019? I hope you guys had a great new year and I hope the new year is starting off very prosperous for you all. With all of this chaos going on in the world and people don't know, <clears throat> low-key Scorpios, you guys aren't too too vulnerable with people up front, but you definitely care about the shit to be going on in the world, and I feel like a lot of you guys really wish that you could change it, but you know, like you guys don't like to see injustices and things of that nature, it really, really bothers you, alright, so let's get it, <clears throat> it's funny that I was talking about that, your Archangel message comes from Archangel Gabriel, leadership, sorry, this lighting is just doing a whole lot, I moved into my apartment, so it's lit, <laughs> literally lit. Um, it says it is time for you to assume your leadership power and position and lovingly guide others, which is kind of going to require that vulnerability, my baby. So, you know, change is good. You're a fixed energy. And um, with that, with all of this eclipse energy, it's actually going to be the great changes and the faith that you have, the strong faith that actually pushes you through in order to well, actually move mountains. It's the belief that you first can. Give me. All right. So let's get it. <clears throat> get into your uh, spirit messages. 
spiritual messages, y'all. Me and my me and my old faithfuls. I know y'all like who mocha them cards. Look here, I know. It's my old faithfuls. Spirit, what messages do you have for my summer rising being as well as the cross watcher for the sign of Scorpio for the month of January 2019? What is it that they're needing to know? <clears throat> well, all right. Well, well, all right. <sighs> Shoot. What messages do you have for my Scorpions? One more time. All right. I listen, baby. What messages do you have for my Scorpions? Some old rising Venus, as well as the Cross Watchers for Scorpio. Let's get it. Yeah, some of you guys may be in a very reflective state, like taking some form I'm here with you, life review, okay? Kind of seeing where you've been and really appreciating where you are at this time. I definitely feel like this is definitely going to be a time of great gratitude. You guys are also really needing to be, I know y'all going to like shoot me for this, but open <laughs> with your emotions, okay? I definitely feel like change is inevitable, inevitable for you all, so I definitely feel like you're coming out of a period of this, okay? And I feel like you have this all knowing about things that are really higher than you that some of y'all don't really be understanding. And it definitely has to do with soul remembrance. Your soul has lived that before. Hence this damn soul contract card, okay? So as above, so below. A lot of you all during this time will be having the ability to manifest great things at a very massive rate, but it's about the belief. Belief in yourself, belief in the things that it is that you really do believe in. And understand that during this time, a lot of you guys are really going to be needing to agree to disagree with people. Really avoid confrontation, okay? Spirit is really wanting to... One of you guys to truly use your emotion. Trust what you feel. Okay. Trust what you feel. If you felt it, your ass felt it for a reason. In other words. All right. And really, 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 because a lot of you guys are very logical about things. You feel you're naturally empathic. You hella intuitive. You definitely feel your way through things. And I definitely feel like, but a lot of you guys are more logical. If it don't make dollars, it don't make sense. You understand? So Mocha, I'm not going to open up, but understand I'm literally here in miracles. So a lot of during this time, you guys can really truly believe and you guys are going to be seeing some miraculous things. Be open to what it is the spirit is trying to do for you because I definitely think, I definitely feel that things are aligning for you during this time. A lot of you all, you're going to be going through a crown chakra activation. You may have um, a pickup of like deja vu moments as well as like prophetic dreams. Some of you all may feel some type of pressure at the top of your head right here. And something is like some type of energetic like pressure. I, I feel that because with the crown chakra activation, I've kind of been there, done that. I definitely feel that in my experience, I felt as if somebody was standing on my damn shoulders. So for that, a lot of you guys are going to be needing to cleanse, protect your energy during this time. And a lot of you are really needing to take spiritual baths as well. Some of y'all may be seeing a lot of butterflies during this time, and it definitely has to do with change, change, new abundance, great abundance, but it's going to be after a period of changing. A lot of you guys are going through a rebirth, and some of you all are going through an awakening, a massive one. Um, by the third week of January, which is next week, some of you all are going to receive a massive download. For those of you who live by big bodies of water, I understand in certain certain places it's cold as hell. I live in Texas. The weather is bipolar, okay? And if you live in Houston, your ass better get in your car with some rain boots, a jacket, some shorts. Shit, because it never, it, you don't, you just don't know. All right. So with that said, but I'm safe in my crib because guess what? <laughs> this girl can wear her damn genie pants. Let's roll. All right. So <laughs> a lot of you all will be in a very reflective place. And I feel like you are going to be stabilizing your emotions about things that happened in your past. You're really understanding them and looking at things from a different perspective. Some of you all, someone, some of y'all are going to go through, have a hell of an aha moment. I feel like for some of you all, you have this knowing. Some of y'all are really having dreams. Your dreams are going to be picking up about certain subjects, certain certain information that you are going to be able to see things from a different spectrum, even within the dreams that you guys are going to be having, especially around this week. As when that eclipse, when that eclipse occur on the twenty first, y'all dreams going to be lit. For those of you who have premonitions, 
you're really, really, really needing to ground yourself during this time, especially if you are awakening to that particular spiritual gift. You're really needing to ground yourself. You're going to have to spend a lot of time in nature, baby, whomever I'm talking to. <clears throat> There's a need for you guys to truly, truly, truly follow your passions. And I mean what it is that truly, truly makes your heart sing. Some of you guys are, 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 are some of you guys want to move into intuitive work. Some of you guys are light workers, but your ass is worried about what somebody else is going to say. And I feel like in a past life, all right, that affected you actually assisting people. Some of y'all have a woman. This could be someone that is a excuse me, that is a doctor. She could also be a therapist. Or some of y'all, hold on, y'all, I got to stretch my legs. Hold on. Hold on, because I'm getting old. This girl is getting old. Things don't, things ain't how they used to be. 25 plus, you know, you don't, I'm, I'm, next year I'm going to be 25 plus again. <laughs> well, this year, in April, y'all better know I'm going live for my birthday. We're going to turn up, but you know there. All right, but yeah, some of you guys are really needing to, Really needing to follow your passions, whether it's artistic work, whether it's actually work helping and guiding others, whether it's some form of um healing, whether it's some form of Reiki. I'm hearing some of you all are um <clears throat> some of you all are dream interpreters. Okay, so some of you all uh, definitely have connections with people. Like when you meet people, some of y'all may even like I'm seeing some of y'all may drift back and forth into past lives, like in encounter, like when you have encounters with people. Some of you guys have a hell of a past life connection that could be a soulmate partnership. And I feel like during this time, some of y'all could also have a telepathic connection with someone, especially after the eclipse. So there's going to be a need for you to really ground your energy <clears throat> and really protect it so that you can truly discern what the hell belonged to you and what the hell you got to <laughs> brush that shit off your shoulder. All right. Yeah, some by the third week, a lot of you guys are going to be seeing. Seeing the things that you manifest actually come towards the surface, okay? I feel like you truly hold the power and the power in your hands as far as creating your own reality. It's just how you choose to look at things. If you choose to see the damn glass is half empty, the chances are the fucking glass is going to be half empty. You understand? Because it doesn't change it being half full. It's just your perspective on things. And a lot of you guys are shifting that during this time. Some of y'all could also, um, and some of you guys could also have new love coming. I definitely feel it's some form of a divine partnership, seeing that it's actually um, clarifying this um, soul contract card. And I feel that a lot of you all, <laughs> you could you could truly change the situation. Some of you guys. You haven't all known that you're connected to someone as well. I'm definitely keep hearing divine partnership. Some of you guys haven't all known you're connected to someone else, but stubbornness. Stubbornness prevents you guys from moving forward towards this damn abundance. So there's a tr there's a need to be reflective and, and look at how things, how you've done things in the past. Is there, if there's any way that you can shift that, okay, shift your perspective to move a bit different, but it's going to cause the death of the ego. Real G shit. You could you could see some different shit. This shit, something that you're passionate about. It could even involve um fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. This could involve an Aquarius, Taurus, um, Leo. But I definitely feel like Something beautiful is trying to come into come into fruition, but the way that some, someone is viewing a, viewing something with ego and fear, and spirit is really going to try to be. Spirit is going to intervene in order to shift that during the month of January. For some of you all, this is going to be a very damn abundant month. Some of y'all are trying to have a baby. I hear, um, I heard that if you were trying to, for those of you who put out uh, petitions around that Leo full moon, some of y'all actually manifested a child or trying to have a child in the month of January. Congratulations, Mocha Love Kids. I feel like you're going to be moving forward to find that information out. I'm hearing the month of, I'm hearing three. So I'm hearing the month of March for some of you all. Congratulations in advance. I'm pretty sure I'm going to see it then. <laughs> some of you guys are really needing to confront or during this time will be confronting. This goes with that perspective shift as well as those dreams, seeing things from a different perspective, seeing things from a different uh, spectrum. Some of you guys are really going to be needing to, because I'm hearing hereditary. Break some type of hereditary cycle. 
karmic cycle when it comes to your children, okay, or the father of your children. You could also be a father. If some of y'all are really needing to have a discussion or will be having a discussion from, uh, with your father, <clears throat> that's going to give you a new perspective and allow you to reflect on things a bit differently to understand a perspective from being a child and a parent. When you understand this, when we become parents, as I with our children, baby, we don't have no guideline book. We don't have no, we don't have no damn instructional on how to do that shit. Most of us follow the footsteps of how we were raised. Not to say that that was right or wrong for some people. It's, it's, it's a bit different. But I'm seeing someone here who is afraid to be vulnerable <clears throat> and afraid to truly embrace love and truly embrace the things that are aligning up for them in a very abundant way due to the way that they view how they were raised. This could have to be, uh, you could be a father or you could be, but I'm hearing, there's a need to not repeat these cycles. The cycle has to stop and it's up to you. And for some of you all, you were born with this responsibility to shift that. To bring harmony to those situations. But it first starts within you being accepting <clears throat> to the changes that are trying to occur within you and around the situation. Some of y'all also during this time may be seeing um, white doves. Some of you all may have a massive download while in the midst of some type of lavender flowers. Some of y'all are definitely healers. But there is this. For some of you all, some of y'all need to focus on your heart chakra. And truly, truly, truly find that love for within. And strictly focusing on yourself, babies. Some of you all. You are going to be receiving, a lot of you all during this time are going to be receiving divine intervention. Spirit is coming in to assist you. And actually mending. I'm hearing mending. I'm hearing harmonious. Unity. Mending fences. Spirit is coming in to assist you with mending fences during this time. Alright? So I'm going to talk forever. Let's get it. I know y'all like, Mocha, what about this shmani? <laughs> so let's get into your damn financial reading. Alright? Scorpio's gonna be playing when it comes to getting that moolah. I'm trying to get that moolah. Whipping and whipping and whipping and whipping. All right. Scorpio, like, well, how how is my shmoney gonna be looking up, Muka? <laughs> Let me let you know now. <coughs> I'm trying to lose my voice, y'all. It's been so much. Here, let me show you. Scorpios, rising in business, can't expect in finance for the month of January 2019. Some of you all are really needing to take a leap of faith, all right? Or during this time, will be um, required to take a leap of faith. And I feel like this is more so something that you're actually passionate about. <clears throat> For some of you all, it definitely could be some form of entrepreneurship or some form of um, running a company. For some reason, I keep hearing publishing, publishing, publishing. For those of you who have a publishing company and you're just sitting on your ass and you're not moving, moving, moving on, um, actually trying to grow and materialize, materialize and actually grow your company. It's time to get moving. Spirit say, them damn dreams mean something, honey. All right? Those dreams to see your future, see what it is that's faded for you, is supposed to motivate you to move forward. All right? You a boss. You a damn boss. All right? For some of you all, I feel like this could be, some of y'all could be looking at it as slow moving or things not moving as fast as you want to as fast as you want them to, as far as some type of entrepreneurship. But in the month of January, especially around this, these first two weeks, some of you all could have seen an increase in movement with your business. I feel like some of you all could also network better, like market better. It's too many damn free social media, social media um, platforms, you understand, that you could actually create a, a social media um, assistance that you could actually 
use to promote your company without having to pay people to do the actual legwork. Some of you guys are kind of stuck in your head as far as about as far as marketing. I feel like that ego death. You really need to um, get some assistance and actually be open to help. All right. Yeah. Some of you guys. Some of you guys have a lot of ways to go as far as finances. For some of you all who was waiting on work, I definitely see uh, some of y'all, especially I'm hearing around the third week of January, second to third week. Some of y'all could also be receiving callbacks from uh, jobs that you've kind of been waiting on for quite some time. You could actually apply for them quite some time ago, okay? And I feel like you're just not starting to hear from them. This is going to be after moving away from a job, all right? So for those of you who um, possibly just are not in the place of being happy with the amount of money that you're making, Spirit is saying it's not, now is the time. For some, some of y'all just really got comfortable with bare minimal, all right? And it's, just, it's not a time to settle in no area in your damn life. No more. Do you understand? Change is, is, is inevitable and abundance is faded for you. It's how you choose the moves. Manifesting is doing. It's the moves that you're choosing to, to, to make in order to move forward towards that shit. And let abundance is not going to come and break in your damn house. Do you understand? Yeah, because that's funny. I said that before I flipped the damn card over. You guys have a great opportunity. Some of you all that mir that miracles that I was hearing. Some of y'all, you really need to trust the process because I definitely feel that something is definitely going to be coming to fruition for you in a massive way. But it's the belief. You lack not. You have not. I mean, you you, you fear you, you have lack. You, you know what the hell I'm trying to say. <laughs> if you think lack, then so be it. But that is not the energy. Some of you guys are really going to be walking in a very abundant energy in the month of January, especially for those of you who are taking that leap of faith towards your entrepreneurship and being your own damn boss. I definitely feel like for some of you all, this could also have to do with some type of legal case. All right. For those of you who are waiting to hear back from some type of divorce settlement or some type of like splitting of assets, I definitely feel that things are going to be fair and it's really going to be fast moving to the point where it shock your damn draws off. Like you just take people forever. No, whomever you're dealing with, especially if you're dealing with a Libra, this person actually feels the same damn way that you're feeling. Some of you guys, I feel like with some, some of y'all are also going to be uh, bringing your finances together. For those of you who are newly engaged, I definitely feel like you're working towards um, really building an empire, okay? With whomever this person is, especially if you're dealing with an Aries, a Libra. Um, for some of you all, this could be a Capricorn towards Virgo. But for some of you all, you have two ways to go. You really need to make a decision on um, really working for someone else during this time or being your own damn boss. And energy looks damn good if you're moving towards any type of entrepreneurship. For those of you who are business owners wanting to give up because things are not moving as fast as you want them to, I definitely am hearing expansion. You really need to expand and make sure even if you're going to be expanding within your same company, you're including some type of some type of aspect to your company in which you're passionate about, but it has to be within your authentic. You have to be walking within your authentic damn self. Do you understand? So if you want to, let's say, for instance, because y'all know I'm very open minded. If you want to create a, if you want, if you do hair, you a barber, you a beautician. All right. And let's say, you know, you also like um, wine. And maybe you've been thinking about starting your own wine, wine branch, because, you know, people, I, 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 I read tarot, but I do a lot of other things that some of y'all would be like, really? Yes. OK, so with that said, you know, I, I really feel that don't put yourself in this box, you know, because I feel like some of y'all are really OK. Well, if I'm going to do it like this and I'm going to do it like that, because such and such stuff is like this. Fuck all that. If you want to fucking find you a small location, bring you some little wine and some cheese and some crackers and get a little bougie like up in there. And I, sometimes it's not what it's not what you do is how you do it. And everybody creative genius, your creative genius can't be compared to the next person, especially when you when you're trying not to be OK, but you're trying to be the bestest. Do you understand me? Yeah. For some of you all, you're indecisive about um, some of y'all really feel like love is going to affect your finances. It's not. Get out of that fear. Because I feel like that fear is affecting your finances because you're looking at all the wrong damn things, the, the wrong.
own perspectives about happiness and life and stability. Yeah, some of y'all really been in y'all damn head when it comes to what it is that you want to do, how you want to do it. For those of you who just don't like your job, you can't stand that you don't like the bitch at the front desk because she rude. You don't like the people who be calling. You don't like the fact that you have to lie. You can't tell these damn people the truth. You don't like the fact that you're constantly overshadowed by somebody who really, you know, is really being petty, but you feel like I need my job. I have to pay my rent. Understand that. Do not be afraid. To jump off the cliff. And what I mean by that is, if you are unhappy, if your work situation is a toxic one, all right? Some of y'all are kind of in y'all head about because you have other decisions. Some of y'all are going to be moving away from a job due to some I'm hearing pay, pay. I'm also hearing um, delay, delay. I'm hearing shutdown. Some of y'all may also work for uh, government affiliates. This shutdown may also affect you. In some form of fashion, so definitely don't go overspending. But for some of you all, this is kind of giving you an opportunity to prep and prepare. And I feel like this is Spirit's way of pushing you off that cliff and making you believe in your damn self so that you can show your damn self I'm a boss, I'm the motherfucking emperor, and I did this because it was my belief in myself that I could, I knew I would, and you're moving away from this. Some of y'all moving away from a damn job. For those of you who've been juggling two, uh, two jobs, possibly working for someone else and working for yourself, some of y'all are just going to choose to nurture your baby. Some of y'all are just going to choose to literally um, nurture what it is that you've been working on. Some of y'all just going to choose your product, or your project. And I definitely feel like though, it, though you felt it was slow moving, when you choose to trust spirit and allow uh, the universe to show you just how faithful that they are just for you believing in the process, for you trusting in the process, and for you first off believing in your damn self that you could manifest this. They're going to show you what you're capable of. And it's going to assist you guys in really watching your thoughts because there is great power in the mind, baby. All right. So let's get into love. Love, 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 love. Let's get into Scott Bills in love. Who do I want to use? All right. Bam. Bam. All right. Spirit. What message do you have? My beautiful scorpion, summer rather than as well as the cross watchers for the month of January. In love. Scorpio. Cross watchers in January for love. All right. Some of you all want to move towards a harmonious um, relationship, okay, with possibly um, an Aries or a Virgo person. All right. And I feel that this will uh, be taking place in the month of January. Some of you guys are really trying to find the harmony within yourself. All right. For some of you all, some of y'all are going to be. Um, some of you guys are definitely going to be offering that damn cup. I feel that there's a need for you not to move too fast. Or some of you guys are kind of internally conflicted. You're going to be internally conflicted about offering your cup of love and moving forward with someone who possibly you have children with as well. I feel that some of you guys are internally conflicted because I feel some of you guys may feel stuck or stagnant in a situation that in, in which you're offering your damn cup, but somebody is too damn controlling or too damn arrogant to really be willing to compromise the ego, all right, in order to bring love to a situation and really express it, all right? And for some of you all, some of y'all could feel stuck or trapped in a relationship, possibly with the, uh, with the Pisces during this time. You're internally conflicted about moving forward because for some of you all, you just really want to focus on some form of entrepreneurship, your business, your baby, what it is that you've been manifesting. But I feel like even though you feel this way, some of you guys are definitely keeping your feelings to yourself. Some of y'all definitely, 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 this feel like the same thing in love, okay? So I seen it over there and I didn't want to read it like that because it was finances, but I really felt it. So spirit really have some of you guys uh, are wanting to um, start a new beginning or have a new beginning, possibly with an Aries person. Or this could also be a Capricorn towards Virgo. This could also be someone who you have um, a family with. But some of you guys are really wanting, offer, wanting, wanting to offer or also are going to be receiving a love offer. And this person really wants to commit 
possibly after some form of hardship, you could have broken this person's heart. Um, or you, maybe this person offered you their cup or um, you offered this person they damn offered this person your damn cup. And, you know, they were just like, well, shit, you know, they didn't take it. Someone took love for granted here. And there's a need and a want to bring harmony back to a situation. Some of you all, this could be after some form of deception, possibly uh, with an air sign as well, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or a Taurus. Yeah. Some of y'all could also be moving forward away from deception. Some of you guys, it could have to do with moving away, moving away from that internal conflict and actually putting a little fire underneath your ass and making those moves forward so that you guys can really get what it is that you're trying, that you want, that you want to, that you want to manifest. Yeah. And for some of you all, it's harmony. This could definitely be a past life relationship. And I feel like there's some form of unfinished business here. This could involve a Pisces, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It could be really any sign because I have air, earth, water, and fire here. Yeah. For some of you all, there's a fear of rejection. Some of you all are not speaking about some of y'all have somebody in y'all energy that's very fucking toxic. Do you understand? For some of y'all, it's a Sagittarius. But some of y'all have someone in your energy that's extremely toxic. And I feel like you feel stuck to this person. This could also be um, your thoughts. Some of y'all are receiving telepathic communication with, somebody, that, with someone. And I feel like it's someone that you truly, truly love. And I feel like for some of you all, you really want to make a move forward. Maybe this person could be attached to a Pisces person, another Scorpio or a Cancer. Some of y'all could, um, some y'all could also be cutting off a, um, a Libra or a Capricorn during this time. Yeah. Some of you guys really want to, some of y'all are going to be flirt. Some of y'all have manifested. Whoever have been putting these love petitions up, these love affirmations up to manifest your twin, whatever you've been doing underneath these moon cycles, this moon cycle for, I'm sorry, this eclipse on Jan January the 21st, I believe, is really going to assist you in really pulling that to you. Yeah, some of you guys, some of you guys are holding on to hurt. That is preventing you guys from truly embracing love, possibly with the Gemini person as well. And some of you guys are moving away from that during this time. By the third week of January, some of y'all are really going to be moving away from, you know, the negative thoughts. And really, really, really just focusing on what it is that you truly want. Focusing it, focusing on what it is that truly fulfills you in love. Some of y'all are cutting off a past, um, someone from your past who could be another water sign. <laughs> Some of y'all getting a get out of jail free call with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, due to a third party situation. Somebody went back to their past. I see that here as well. Yeah, this could be a Libra. Some of y'all could also be cutting off a Libra during this time due to a third party situation. Y'all could have found out, or this could be a Libra cutting you out. Some of you guys could have found out. Um, all right now. Spirit going there, so I'm let them. Some of y'all could find out that a child is not yours through someone coming for you during through the legal system, and I feel like though it is a painful situation, I'm hearing blessing in disguise. You know, because I feel like whomever this was coming for you, baby, their intentions for you was all fucked up, and sometimes people's bullshit be their own demise. Believe that shit. All right. Yeah, some of you guys are deciding you don't want to be a part of a marriage during this time due to a third party situation. <laughs> some of you guys could also be communicating with the fire sign who could have cut you off if you cut this person off. And I feel like you wanting to communicate a new start, y'all. Some of y'all, um, because you have every all the resources that you need. Some of you guys have been manifesting this Aries, okay? Or this Aries have been manifesting you. To bring harmony and commitment to a relationship. This could be someone very intuitive. You could also be, you could also have a very telepathic connection with this person. For those of you who have astral traveling abilities, some of y'all are rectifying things in other dimensions in order to bring them to fruition here in the third dimension. Hey, that's fucking awesome. I'm going to have to ace that because I, I, I've tried to work on it. But I ain't got it fully down. I got to say this, though. 
I I I got recently <laughs> my dreams have been extremely lit with people um really from seeing things from a different perspective and I have I have a Pisces moon I have heavy Pisces Libra um and Aries in my chart so it's just kind of like oh my goodness you know some things that just be kind of catching me you know off guard but I definitely feel like whatever it is that you guys some of you guys have been trying to work on moving, working on moving forward with an Aquarius I definitely see that you are going to get what it is that you were trying to manifest but it is going to require for you to take a leap of faith and be willing to move forward on every aspect emotionally physically you have to be willing to give something in order to get something Spirit is trying to give you all love, but you have to give up the ego, the fear, the doubt, the trust issues. You have to give up, for some of you all, I'm hearing manipulation, emotional manipulation. For some of you all, you're having to be honest with someone and be receptive to someone else's honesty, even if it means that this person does choose to move forward and don't want to build on that connection because the relationship is a two-way street. However, don't look at the negative. Look at, as, look at it as a growing experience. And whatever uh, occurred in this relationship that prevented you guys from moving forward and your next relationship, the spirit is getting ready to bless you with, baby, with taking this leap of faith and the movement forward. I definitely feel like because this is some for some of you all, it's a part of your transformation. And it's going to assist you in really releasing someone and having that harmony from within you by either giving or receiving this truth. Some of y'all is that you want to move away from a Virgo or why you went or why, for some of you all, it's why this person went MIA or went ghost or why you went ghost. But I definitely feel like there's huge clarity and harmony coming to situations and a whole lot of forgiveness as well as a chance to truly, truly gain new perspectives on things. No time in any relationship, I feel, is wasted time. It just gave you time to realize what the fuck you do and don't want in your life. What it is that you do. And for some of you all, I'm hearing karma. So I feel like some of you guys could have left the situation and maybe you or this other person experienced some form of karma for you to understand or for that person to understand where you were coming from. And if in the aspect having to do with harmony, why things just couldn't mesh. There's been a gain of a gaining of enlightenment that has and will be occurring. And a whole lot of divine intervention. But it's gonna have to. It's going to require a whole lot of openness, receptivity, and a lot of honesty, as well as true life forgiving. Okay. So this is what I have for you guys for the month of January 2019. If you want to take part in that reading special, hey, read the hell up. Go ahead and send me your email, and I'm gonna go ahead and lock the uh, lock the reading down for you. Uh, lock the reading down for you all. Um. Again, y'all, I send you all much love, many blessings, much prosperity, you all. You deserve to win, Scorpio. Y'all better go do that shit. It's time to win. But it's all up to you. And you can have it if you want it. Just believe you already got it and so be it. I love y'all. Bye, y'all.